In order to find the distance between two points on a number line, the main thing we want to do is draw the number line and then just label the points. We got negative 3, positive 5. To find the distance, you just want to count how many spaces away or how many units they are. Just keep in mind with distance, in math, it's always positive. I like to start on the left side there. And then you begin counting once you make your first step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps to the right. That is the distance. So not too bad. And they're going to get a little bit more complicated here. So stay tuned. And we're back. What is the distance from zero to Q on this number line? Now, you might be thinking, well, that's easy. Just go from there to there. It's just negative 3.5. But just keep in mind, distance has to be positive. So therefore, flip it, positive 3.5. By the way, anytime you're going from zero to another number on the number line, that distance is that number. Just make it positive. And another one. You draw a number line and plot points at negative 2.7 and 4.4. What is the distance between these? Now, you might be tempted to just count up the distance, but there's a little space here and here, so it's a little challenging. We're going to use a different approach for this. Imagine you're flying from LA to New York, but you have a layover in Denver at zero. Therefore, you're going to split up the trip into two little ones. What is that distance? If you were thinking 2.7, bingo. It's just like what we were doing over here. Okay, then our next leg of the trip, 0 to 4.4, but that's just 4.4. Then we're just going to combine those two, but this would be in the no calculator section. No worries, we're just going to stack the decimals, Add the right side, 7 plus 4, 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4, 7. Drop the decimal down, 7.1. That is our distance. So if you're ever dealing with some nasty decimals, just go ahead and split up the trip, and you'll be good. And one last one. Which represents the distance between A and B on this number line? You got this one. You know it. Distance. It's got to be positive. We'll count left to right. And that gets us 9. But which of these is the same thing as that? Well, the first one, negative 5 plus 4, that's like being down 5 points in a game. Then our team scores 4. So now we're just down 1. The next one, we're down 5. The other team scores 4. Poor defense. So now we're down 9. The next two are very similar, but these bars mean absolute value. It's going to make the final answer positive. But the inside, negative 5 plus 4, we just did that. That's negative 1, so let's copy that. Absolute value makes it positive 1. And then that last one, negative 5 minus 4. We already did that, negative 9. Absolute value makes it positive 9. So surprisingly, that is the distance for this. So between getting used to the absolute value or adding decimals by hand, and of course our trip to Denver, you'll be covered. By the way, Denver has an amazing burrito place at their airport. It's on the second floor. It's a little hidden away, but look for it. You won't be disappointed. Alrighty. You got these. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles.